And we should be coming in live any second now. Fun. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. I'm not sure it's coming in live yet. Let me do a little refresh. Let me do a little refresh. Let's do a little refresh and see what's what. Are we live? Are we live? Oh, we are indeed. We are indeed. A little buffering going on. Let's check it out. Let's pop out the chat. Boop. Let's see. We're all connected. Everything seems to be okay. I'll see if people pop in. Let's test. Let's do a free Assange test. Greetings, Dr. P. How are you doing? Are we coming in live? I don't see the feed. I'm seeing it buffering. Um, so I hope we are live. X, how are you doing? <laughs> hope you're doing well. Slick Mick, thank you very much for subscribe. Yes, looks good live. Okay, cool. I don't see it from my end for some reason. Uh, dear oneself, thank you, Slick Mick. Yes, looks good. Good evening, good evening, Facet. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Good morning from my end. Hey, Chicho. Uh, Kahalid, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. We got a bunch of bunch of packages here to go through. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five packages. Five packages. So uh, looking forward to this. Looking forward to this. I'm going to do a little refresh on my page again. Um, just to make sure it's... Uh, everything's all hunky dory everything's all hunky dory i still don't see it five 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 dr p here let me do this yeah still not uh, i don't see the video from my end but i'm assuming it's all good if anything goes wrong please let me know gang and uh i'll keep my eyes on the chat okay mr brain freeze how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream i haven't seen you for a while brother hope you're doing well <laughs> fun we're gonna wait uh, a few minutes for people to pop in and uh, we have four packages of buys off ebay two are comic books and two are something else i'll mention it uh we'll talk about it and one is a care package that was sent so we'll start off with the care package I've had some internet issues today. Have you, Elder God? Yeah, uh, there's crazy stuff going on. We'll see where it goes. And good morning, Elder God, or good afternoon for you. Good evening, Red. How are you doing? Hello, hello, Cheryl. How's life? Slick Mike, hi, Chicho. Starting to stream off with a question if that's okay. A while back, somebody made an awesome political Julian Assange comic for you. Yeah, what would be a good in? intro political comic series what would be a good intro political comic series um if you like uh if you like cyberpunk trans metropolitan is fantastic if you like sort of more dystopian i would go with dmz uh DM, dmz uh demilitarized zone they're both from image comics um good political stream Believe it or not, Co Savage Sword of Conan is, there's a lot of politics in there. It's fantastic. I even made a post regarding Savage Sword of Conan, Conan's political take. Uh, here, let me find you that post because I really like that post. I, I like, I've made a bunch of comic book posts on my blog, on my site. And um, they're all political slant. They're all political slant. slant uh comic books uh t -t 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 -t. here i'm gonna give you this link main link and on the left hand column you're gonna see a list of articles on comic books okay and uh all about comic books reading no not that one uh betrayal freedom and justice forces of order of oh, v for vendetta is an amazing political comic book uh stream uh, Snowpiercer is a fantastic comic book. 
political dystopian and TV series and movies uh, are out. Um, Barry Wynn, <laughs> sort of political, uh, the, the article I have there, pretending that one can dissociate torture from war. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ordinary Victories is a French comic book uh, by Manu. Uh, Larset is a fantastic independent comic book uh, and I linked up that article uh, most most comic books have a fair bit of uh, politics in them but this is the first one I put out I called it in recognition of endless wars and those who profit from them the savage sword of Conan and I linked up the pages and you can read it uh, so it's it's there's lots of politics in there okay uh the facet this uh, the snow fierce uh pierce of film was really it, i loved it a lot of some people didn't like it because of watching the film i bought the comic books and i and loved the comic books and the tv series is pretty good um slick mctras metropolitan suite plus ps i love conan uh, my all-time yeah one of my all-time favorites slick mc one of the greatest comic book series ever put out, Savage Sword of Conan. And you want, uh, Conan the Barbarian is fantastic with Barry Windsor Smith and uh, and whatnot, but Savage Sword of Conan, I, in my opinion, is superior to Conan the Barbarian because Savage Sword of Conan was being printed in magazine format, so they didn't have to abide by the comic code authority. So it's more raw, it's more, more brutal, it's more political, it's, uh, it's beautiful uh thanks doing well uh mr bring faces got busy watching euro 2020 yeah i've been watching them too streaming them awesome awesome finally made one of your streams woo 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 sam 91 hi from london hello london Ho how are you doing and welcome to a live stream galaxy 101 hello hello gang quick intro i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash uh, Chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is basically layered on mathematic, Patreon is a great place uh, to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. Okay, uh, Andy Hebel, oh uh, one. Hello from Germany. I mostly lurk lurk away lurking is very much appreciated as well uh germany andy i hope you're enjoying the content uh, we are for those of you that want to know once this live stream is loaded on our video sharing platforms we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat ch -ch -ch, twitch is where you want to be out of gang for those of you that support this work on twitch thank you very much support for the support thank you for being here thank you for the conversations thank you for the love thank you for following thank you for subscribing thank you for the bits thank you for the points and mods thank you for taking care of business galaxy 101 hey from california california but that's not an interesting it is it is man i used to love going to cali i spent a lot of time in cali but um Political things being political things, I stopped going to the United States uh, in 2002. Okay, I'm taking a math final uh, RN and 110% 110% failed. No, don't fail, <laughs> Cheryl. Everywhere is interesting to someone. Everywhere is interesting to someone. Indeed, it, that, like desert. What's in a desert? It looks dead. There's a lot of life in the desert. It's one of the most interesting places in the world, right? The the sky in the desert is amazing. The, the fluctuations in temperature, the bugs in the desert are crazy, right? Very cool stuff goes on in the desert. We do announce these live streams on Minds, VK, Gab, Parlor, and BitCloud. We got five up now and we're on bitcloud and bitcloud looks interesting gang we'll talk a lot more about this later but all the links will be in the description of this video when we're uploaded on these on the video sharing platforms and the link is in the description of our twitch main twitch page okay oh god america was my holiday choice 
but now I want to go to Mongolia. Mongolia would be amazing, Elder God. Uh, by the way, gang, think about this. Let me know. Uh, as you know, I've mentioned this. We're at the end of the school year, so I free up my time where I do a lot less, le less live streams and stuff. So just in case my students want to do a, uh, they need to do, uh, you know, random uh, hooking up with me to cover math, to cover physics and whatnot, right? So I'm doing these one-off streams right now, you know, minimal announcement time, 24 hours or whatnot, that we're going to do a stream. I haven't put the sets together yet. But just in case, think about this and let me know. Or would you guys be okay with doing a patio current events live stream Sunday morning? If you guys are up for it, I'll announce it later on today or tomorrow as you know as as soon as i know it's set in stone i don't have any students that want to skype at that time or uh google hangout or zoom or online meeting right if you guys are okay with the current events live stream sunday morning it's supposed to be nice and hot my patio is decked out i got i even made a catio patio for our kitty cats so if you guys want uh to do a current events live stream sunday morning uh you know let me know okay it's taking me two hours to do 19 questions and i guarantee not one of them oh no galaxy hold up uh what you do uh, galaxy <laughs> for sure i teach math that's how i started making videos math videos in 2007 i have multiple playlists math playlists on sensor tube i have i don't know probably over 500 math videos on sensor tube online uh, i have torrent files i created to for people to upload my videos just in case you know censorship and whatnot because i want to share and share and we do drop in math tutoring sessions on twitch like twice a month right now i haven't been doing them just because i'm really busy with my students and stuff like this and it it's it just it's just the way it's worked out right uh so there's a whole bunch of if you do chicho mathematics or chicho math you're gonna find a ton of content of math that's what i've been doing for over two decades now uh Fawcett, is it true that they're playing uh playing africa by toto in the desert somewhere in the desert of repeat <laughs> near las vegas apparently i don't know but it could be could be hilarious africa that's hilarious i used to i like toto sunday morning sounds good elder god says sounds good i also took a, a slick mic took a look at that uh sample paper you put in education what a joke uh oh god the exam what a joke what a joke right crazy sunday morning sounds good street says street street name lehman how are you doing get cigar oh i gotta get cigar i won't i won't get a chance to get cigars no cigars yet no because i want to do the cigars and the liqueurs at the same time once we set up our streams we'll do let's just do randoms right now okay oh cigar sounds amazing i'm in grade 10 geometry but shit galaxy i have a whole geometry <laughs> watch this oh man you should have been here earlier here's uh math here uh, language of mathematics Doop. here here's my table of contents just for the language of mathematics I haven't updated this uh, table of contents for a couple of years more than a couple of years now right take a look at series one halfway through series one starting with uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. section seven on section seven on section seven to section uh 10 of series one this is the first set of stuff i put out oh, i already linked it up geometry geometry and trigonometry and i have a whole bunch more as well i could take or leave the cigars but if if there will be plans on there there will be plans uh cheryl you'll see them in the background yo boy let's go let's go random streams are awesome life is a box of channels you never know what you're gonna get awesome awesome fun 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 uh okay let me finish off my intro here uh for live streams where we don't have any visuals 
We do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash Chicho's podcast, and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. And gang, for those of you that are supporting this work on any of those platforms, okay, thank you very much for the support. It is because of the collective support that we're getting that we're able to do this. Okay, since we're talking streams, let me take these guys down. I talked to my partner. She's been going crazy with sourdough. We're 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 a sourdough house. Check this out. She made sourdough crackers as well, right? With the discard, and they're amazing. Look at this, CD sourdough crackers that are just mind-boggling. So good. I don't know if they'll focus. Like it's they're just phenomenal. Really like so good come on baby focus 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 is it gonna focus look at that that's a sourdough homemade cd cracker so good so good and she mentioned that she would be okay with us doing a day of sourdough which is basically go through the process of doing everything okay so there'll be sourdough cooking live streams coming up at some point and not the real random dice roll oh i don't have my dices set up here i use dices and dice with my students so they're where i do my math stuff <laughs> avoid what you want to gamble and free assange gang right don't forget Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2. Looks good, but gluten is my thing. Yeah. Uh, she's thought, uh, no, what? actually she's looking into making gluten-free sourdough i don't know how that's going to work out but if we do we'll do gluten-free sourdough elder god for you as well okay do you know the equation for finding surface area uh it depends on the surface area yeah sure uh there are different equations for different objects for surface area right so it, it really depends on the object you're dealing with okay gang Let's talk about the comic book haul, but there is a care package first. Let's do the care package first. Okay. This is a care package um, that was sent to me by James. Okay. I don't, I don't know if he's here right now. Okay. He asked me if, you know, if you could send me something and I said, oh, for sure, but not necessary. But she goes, no, no, I want to send, um, I want to show you my artwork and stuff like this. And he sent me this care package. I won't show you the other side because he dresses and stuff on there. Right. Think. <laughs> right. So um, we're going to take a look at the care package first. Okay. Care package and crying. No, no, there will be no more crying. That's <laughs> it. We're done. <laughs> right. No more tears. <laughs> right and we're going to take a look at the care package and he sent me his websites too that is the it does the art but he made me promise that i wasn't going to look at the his website until i looked at the care package because he wanted to get my uh initial take of his art okay so and i'll link up here uh, i can't go i have the 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 websites pinned and i'll give you guys the links as soon as we open this up okay take a look at it and uh, and i'll give you guys the links i haven't gone there yet right i pinned them without even looking at them okay so let's take a look at this oh i put this on here <laughs> so oh wow cool ah nice <laughs> he sent me prints of his work right <laughs> awesome i put this alongside 80 other artists in an upcoming underground comics called uh J jaws through the oh let's take a look at this okay let's take a look at the comics uh three pack 
I'm sorry about the packaging. So he sent me some comics he thought uh, he thought I would like. And uh, there, check this out. It's a three three packager. Uh, he he put this message on there, right? Uh, comic three pack. I'm sorry about the uh, packaging. I didn't have uh, bags and boards for them. No worries. No worries. This is Valiant Comics, of course. <laughs> saucy, saucy, saucy. Uh, Galaxy. We have a Discord with a whole math folder. It's very helpful if you want to join it. Uh, really up. Yeah. Uh, uh, Galaxy. So this is uh, Valiant Comics. <laughs> nice. I've read this one. Uh, this is uh, uh, Rye. 4001 this was a fantastic series by the way okay, okay no way 38 percent check this out this this is a really good series okay 4001 ad um uh from valiant comics fantastic this was a really good read okay highly recommend highly recommend uh this one i i actually read this one dynamite okay uh, uh, Dynamite Comics got the rights for Turok Di Dinosaur Hunter, right? Uh, from Valiant when Valiant when uh, when they closed their doors back in the nineties. I don't know when it reverted back to them, right? So this was not bad. It wasn't as good as the Valiant stuff. It wasn't. And Harbinger, this series was absolutely phenomenal. This is the two thousand and twelve Harbinger series with the relaunch of Valiant that started off again and this series it went up to 25 issues with a uh, issue number zero as well and at a crossover with harbinger wars absolutely phenomenal series if you like superhero comic books team books especially and it, basically if you want to get a feel for what uh <laughs> what chris claremont unleashed uncensored to a certain degree would be like in an x-men book check out harbinger from 2012 series uh, and one of the brilliant things with this series is with valiant comics was uh, when they kill off characters they stay dead okay and they did now let's take a look at the prints that james sent us awesome awesome let me give you guys the websites Hold on, no, I'm gonna show it, show you this first. So he put uh, he put a little note here. Check this out. Uh, this picture print is uh, also published alongside 80 other artists in an upcoming underground comics called Jaws Through the Multiverse. This is my version of the shark. Ha <laughs> ha! For a good time, call Mister <laughs> Mrs. Bruce, <laughs> she bites. Ha ha ha! Check this out. I'm gonna take that note out so we can see the picture in its full glory. Off topic. I have uh, Elder God. I have been watching Loki. It's uh, looking good. After yeah, I watched one episode of it too. The first episode. I haven't seen episode two yet. It looks okay. It looks good. I'm still a little uh, on the fence on it, but uh, it looked good. It looked good. Right. I don't think it's at the caliber of Legion uh, series and Elder God. You need to watch Legion. Check this out. <laughs> going to the beach, going to the beach. Check this out. Awesome. Sase, the shark. She bites. Check it out. She bites. Bakul. Bakul Data. Was there any comic book series in past that considered covering uh, philosophy? Yeah, there's philosophy all over comic books. Um, are, what type of philosophy uh, do you mean, uh, Dada? Like Grant Morrison is Grant Morrison's uh, writing is full of philosophy, um, twisted philosophy. <laughs> Uh oh, what's this? Check out the card. Yeti Punk. <laughs> this is his, uh, uh, the name of his website, Yeti Punk. Anyone about, uh, about self, for example. 
anyone about self anyone about specifically uh, you know what uh, Gra um, Neil Gaiman's Sandman series it's not it's not direct related to uh, directly related to um, like you know Nietzsche it's not it's not like Nietzsche reading right but there's a whole theme behind it of the self right there we go put this one back uh, elder god says about loki it had some woke elements yeah yeah so i will also wait to give for you yeah i agree uh, elder god watch legion really <laughs> elder god take a look at this What does that say? I can't read the writing. I'm really bad at reading graffiti writing. Batman, Batman. <laughs> awesome. This is a print. <laughs> That's a pretty good, uh, beautiful, really. Very nice. Very nice. What does that say? Uh, the text. Dark. Oh, Dark Knight, of course. Right? Dark Knight? It, no, there, that's not a T at the end. Dark darkness dark cheryl thank you very much darkness i'm really bad at reading these graffiti stuff i love the graffiti style but bad at reading it darkness darkness awesome very cool very cool very cool very nice james thank you for these brother awesome and <laughs> oh really good really darkness for batman darkness for batman captures it really well it's dark right wait what do you need as cheryl says wait uh, can we send you comment uh, sure galaxy what check this one out who's the opposite of batman who's the opposite of batman who's the opposite of batman screenshot oh you want screenshot 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 darkness if you're gonna do screenshot let me take it out so we don't get the glare graph is meant to be appreciated yeah gra graffiti is meant to be appreciated and never to be understandable readable uh been graffiti and tagging for 10 yeah there's an amazing there's a lot of amazing documentaries on graffiti but there's one called um you might know it to avoid it's from 1978 okay and uh oh to know the name and they interviewed this uh graffiti artist from new york from 1978 or so and he was all proud he was like i made my graffiti like this like this like this and i would pan it out and you know, do this and it was so brilliant it was so beautiful you couldn't even read it <laughs> and he showed it it was like chaos and it goes you couldn't even read it right it was brilliant can you see it this says this 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 uh color no man what is it called it's beautiful i love graffiti banksy doc for graffiti uh, there are better graffiti documentaries out there than the banksy uh, documentaries especially the stuff that came out in 1970s 1980s here's you can do a screenshot now look at that one nice darkness Deathstroke. No, the opposite of Batman. Uh, Batman is not Deathstroke. Definitely not Deathstroke. Deathstroke is just uh, a, a Batman that assassinates, really. But it and he's 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 just works for the highest highest paid. Okay. Isn't Banksy EU? Uh, Banksy, yeah, European. Oh man, <laughs> Superman, Elder God knows his Batman. Let me put this Batman back. This is beautiful, by the way. The opposite of Batman, the opposite of Batman is Superman. The opposite of darkness is, some would say, hope, not light, 
but hope, right? Beautiful Batman, a beautiful Superman uh, portrait as well. Like really nice, really nice, beautiful, right? Beautiful, James. Thank you very much for the care package. Love it, love it, love it. And let me give you his websites, gang. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Those are as crazy good, indeed. Hold on, let me give you guys his website. Okay, send them some love. Here's his his own website, boom, and uh, here's his Instagram. And I'm not going to look through these right now because. <laughs> We got comic calls to do and here's his uh instagram page okay and he goes by yeti punk beautiful batman and superman really and shark girl yeah <laughs> she bites <laughs> is he in chat right i don't I, I told him we we're gonna do it today this morning he said uh, it should work out for him uh, so I don't know if he's here right now okay big props to that person that is talent that is talent beautiful and um, I'll contact him hopefully when he sees this he'll send me a message to let me know where when the comic is coming out the anthology which is uh, it's called it's called what was it called oh it's at the back here uh, jaws through the multiverse jaws through the multiverse right jaw jaws through the multiverse okay upcoming on the ground comics uh, so super cool gang should we do comic book haul we're half an hour in let's get into the comic book hauls okay let me do the comic books first okay fragile do not bend right let's check this out okay. there's two comic books here hello Ronnie how are you doing I'm doing good thank you very much I hope you're doing fantastic as well let's take a look nicely put in a cardboard right so protected very cool i like it this is this is great if you're shipping out single comics this is a good way to do it right preferably in a bubble wrap is better but this is fine he radiates a passion wow i love that so much Doop. nice 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 tightly he, he, this guy's packed it up the way i would right so he packs it up the cardboards surrounding the comic and the comic also uh you know put in place with and i usually put another cardboard on top of here but it's not bad putting this on do you do auctions uh, for comics galaxy I, I do on ebay but i've been thinking about doing it on twitch okay i've been thinking about doing it here uh and i think it might be a good idea just to do auctions here maybe do i've been thinking about what i've been thinking about is doing grading the comics here that we're going to list on ebay and taking offers of any of the comics that people want to buy during the live stream and we sell it so before before ebay auction before listing on ebay we do the grading and auction open auction on uh, or offer let's call it an offer uh, you can make me an offer and if i'm cool with it you get it how's that sound i might need to go uh caught me some comics <laughs> low key used to move around in uh, Batmobile uh, wearing Batman gear in Canada 
<laughs> regularly used to get pulled over. Who's this? Me? It's not me. It can't be me. There's a conversation I'm missing. Tight, tight. I don't know which one this is. Haha, <laughs> nice. Painter tape is good. Check this out. And here's the kicker. I don't have this comic in my collection. Uh, boy, I, I, Slick Mick, I want to. I, I Really, that's why I'm thinking about we grade the comics during a live stream and people can make me offers and if I'm okay with it, sold. 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 <laughs> right. Brampton Batman. He was... Uh, called Brant Branton Batman really there was a guy driving around uh, as a Batman in Batman uh, car nah just do like a PayPal thing or Vimeo and do it from Twitch that would be fine okay Galaxy we do I'll, I'll set it up in the next set of streams grading the comics make me an offer during the stream <laughs> okay or maybe even after the stream I carry a roll of blue tape in my uh, battle bag doesn't that sound so much better than a person's <laughs> battle bag? Check this out, gang. And I don't have this in my collection, and I need to get a better copy of this because, like, the the cover has it. It looks great, but there's a flaw with it, which is okay with me because I didn't have it. Destroyer Duck Number One, first appearance of Gru. The Wanderer, okay, and let me tell you what we ended up paying for this baby. We ended up paying ba -ba -da -da -dun -dun -dun. twelve. We bought the auction. Winning bid for the auction was twelve fifty Canadian. With shipping, it came out to nineteen dollars Canadian, which is around you know fifteen fifty US. Okay, which is a great price great price look looks nice. it's it's nice but it's got a flaw on it in the in the cover there's scratches on it like it doesn't show like this but if you reflect it you'll see the 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 scratch on it from the back like see that see the you get in the glare but see that up here right it goes all the way through and there I, there's three of them i believe right but presentation awesome right. sergio aragonis grew the wander it's like a four-page story right i need to get high grade copies of this if i had a lot of money i'd be buying multiple copies of this and storing them right artwork for this the story the main story jack kirby cover jack kirby Right, and a whole bunch of other people have worked on this. Awesome price, awesome comic book. Glad to finally have this in my collection. Okay, may you skim through it, or is it really rare? Uh, it's not really rare. No, it's not really rare. Favorite genre of comics? Uh, I like sci fi, everything. Right, we can skim through it here. Let's flip through it. I like this seller, really. and he put it in mylar bag as well which is really good anybody know why the comic i ordered from england went to germany before they went here <laughs> got me check it out check it out yeah see this you can see the the flaw from the back cover see that see that it's not even a scratch it's I don't know what that is. Right? And it goes all the way down, which is not that bad. Right? Hello, Milzy. How are you doing? Just followed. Your positive and excitement is infectious. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Three of us. I want to hug you. <laughs> Do you ever get into indie comics? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. uh, I, most of my buys on a weekly basis are independent comic books. Uh, I love it. We've done a lot of indie readings. I do comic book readings 
uh, and more than half of them are independent i think my main focus in comics for the last 30 years has always been yeah me too i used to publish comic books independent comic books in the 1990s mid 1990s i pr i published 15 comic books and they're rare af like they're rare 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 uh, yeah 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 indie is the best indies where is that jack kirby check this out baby <laughs> so so cool it's got the whole world in his hands oh crap you have the file for 10 minute thing on follow follow oh yeah man look at this 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 <laughs> nice 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 let's find Gru as well let's find Gru here morning guys real mc mike how are you doing <laughs> where's Gru? oh who's this the adventures of thelma iron thighs and this is eclipse comics by the way fantastic thelma iron thighs awesome awesome nice 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 yo that's so nice so nice boy it's so nice aha grew the wanderer yeah baby check it out check it out if you've never read Gru, you're missing out. It's a four pager, right? Up time, 42 minutes. It's 15 years ago, I sold my entire comic collection uh, to one guy for 12K. Oh no, I bought cameras and started a business okay nice now i can buy all the comics i want and just started buying up a few months ago awesome awesome you did good with the money then right you didn't blow it guru the one very happy to have this in my collection game and it's a really good comic and eclipse comics right eclipse comics is fantastic we did a reading of real war stories from eclipse comics right right this logo right here Oop. okay and we did a reading of eclipse comics right these packages are related to that reading these packages are related to that reading you'll see what they are you'll see what they are you'll see what they are very happy with this buy the seller is awesome okay thumbs up thumbs up i have both uh five comics worth two grand nice next package let me show you what this is very happy to have this as well and three of us this is an indie okay this is an indie series that i've been collecting This person too take a look looks a little bit more ghetto <laughs> but it's safe keeps the comics safe <laughs> my collection was worth much more than that when i sold it yeah brother i bet it was i bet it was as soon as you said one person for 12k i uh, that comic at the time was probably worth 24k and right now that collection is probably worth a hundred thousand plus right uh, what I sold it for but I really wanted to start a business it all worked out perfect perfect and gang that is part of personal finance that is absolutely okay to sell something that might be going up in price in the future to do something uh, with that money 
right? Tony Best, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho and gang. Long time no see. Long time no see indeed. Man, this guy's packaging is hard to get into. Not that bad, though. Interesting ways. Taping up the corners. Not bad, not bad. I like it. This guy, too. I like this guy. And this comic, by the way, let me tell you what this is. This comic, and it's rare I buy single comics. Oh man, he put a. Oh no, he did it that way. Okay, good. It's rare I buy just single comics, right? Uh, from people just because of shipping. But if they're really good price, uh, I'll do it, right? And this comic book we bought for $14. And the shipping on it was $14 Canadian and the shipping on it was $7 so it came out to $21 Canadian oh my god <laughs> packed it down hard nice okay perfect this is ours nice nice and very happy to have this as well let me show you what this is so basically 21 dollars including shipping for this right 3rd print of rachel rising number one <laughs> i'm collecting rachel rising gang right if you are watching the work i've been doing uh we're collecting rachel rising i have a couple of copies of the first print we got a run from one to something number 20 i gotta get the whole series and this is the third print and it's supposed to be as harder to find okay uh, that comic collection plus hard work and dedication uh has bought me so much more than the current value of the collection because i bought my bitcoin seven years ago nice i'll be flush with comics soon awesome 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 and by the way uh three of us uh i was mining bitcoin about 10 years ago right we got a playlist of cryptocurrencies and bitcoin talking about bitcoin and stuff like this i'd be taking some money off the table okay really uh i'd be taking some money off the table uh, there's there's certain problems coming up it's just this is not financial advice this is just me being cautious i would say to people um it's always okay to take some profits off the table okay how much is your comic collection worth you oh, i have no idea uh galaxy i don't know okay i love this channel <laughs> thanks <laughs> and this series by the way i've read this whole series one of my highly recommended series of all time rachel rising by terry moore awesome oh i'm very good with crypto i'm on top of it okay awesome three of us awesome 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 okay v fantastic series if you haven't read this series read it gang okay and i believe it was galaxy or someone asked about pol political um a comic book series this is uh, this also has politics in it okay fantastic very happy to have this in my collection third print and it's in beautiful shape it's this one's near mint the guy graded it at must be i can't see it being anything else oh he graded very fine near mint uh yeah i would give it near mint just looking at the cover but it doesn't make a difference for me i'm okay i didn't have a third print rachel rising is i'm collecting it that's it i'm calling uh a five four six KLG collection. <laughs> I'll sold Elder God. <laughs> Can we get a synopsis of it? Uh this uh Rachel Rising? Rachel Rising synopsis is it's epic. It is one of the most epic series you'll ever read. T Terry Moore's writing, most of the main characters are female, and Rachel Rising is no different. Okay. It's quintessential reading of independent comic books uh it starts off um 
I don't want to give spoilers, gang. I really don't want to give spoilers because it's amazing. It blew me away while I was reading it, right? It's basically the story of uh, these characters, mo all of them really female, that are interacting together. And it it's sort of horror, but biblical uh, mythology, it brilliant I, I i don't want to give spoilers i really don't i was very very happy with the surprises in the read that blew me away i was like whoa he took it here wow blew me away right uh highly recommend i would just highly recommend uh real mc mike oh on the topic of cryptocurrency i came across something that blew my mind it's a decentralized uh finance DeFi company called Alm mix uh, check out their website and white paper okay uh, MC Mike you have to link it up in our discord no links in chat on this on the live stream just to protect everyone just make sure people aren't fishing and stuff uh, and whatnot what is it Rachel rising about uh, it's okay you guys are asking spoiler warning spoiler warning okay it starts off with this woman uh, which is digs dig is digging herself out of a grave right and in the in the in the forest and wakes up and doesn't know what has happened and starts walking towards the town and she has amnesia can't remember what's going on right and then it's her discovery of what who she is what her life is how she is connected to some other characters that she encounters okay and how far back her story goes okay it's mythology uh on a biblical scale and it's epic that's as far as i'm willing to go with it okay bam box bam box have you ever heard of bam box i don't know i've never heard of bam box hello i'm snake how are you doing hello i'm snake hi chicho this is my second time catching you a, a you stream i hope you never stop doing comic book i don't think i ever will man i don't think i ever will link uh it's kill bill link it's kill bill um no it's better than kill bill rachel rising is better than kill bill kill bill was pretty damn good but this is way better than kill bill okay what's up everyone nikki hickey how are you doing just wishing all you people a magical day peace and love and plenty bye all bye Nikki. now these next two packages these next two packages gang we did a reading of real war stories number two from eclipse comics and we did a reading of that specifically because it had an adaptation of general smedley butler's war is a rap racket a book that we did a reading for right soft spoken reading for with mathematics in there right so we did a reading of real war stories number two and at the back and i'll have the link in the description of this video once it's loaded up onto um, the different platforms and you know what let me find you the link let me find you the link on the uh, i'll give it to you on sensor too why not a pooper scooper sensor tooper <laughs> let me give the link on the sensor tube one because most people are watching it on sensor tube even though even though right now in the first hour or a couple of hours of my video being up i get more views on on bit shoot than i do on sensor two because we're being suppressed on sensor two right like just imagine thirty three thousand followers on sensor tube 420 followers on uh bit shoot or 400 followers on on bit shoot we're not at 420 yet or are we at 420 i can't remember now right uh let's say 420 followers on bit shoot in the first hour of upload on i'll some of my videos i get more views on bit shoot than i do on sensor two now i don't know whichever way you look at the mathematics that's called shadow banning right that's hilarious 
I have to go. Cheryl, I hope you have a fantastic day. But this was a fun break. Hope to see you Sunday. Bye, Chicho. Bye, Cheryl. Hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, got an absolute grill of mine recently. A CGC 9.6 Watchman number one. Very nice, Toby. Very nice indeed. 425. <laughs> Odyssey is what I'm using now. Odyssey is fantastic. So at the back of that reading, oh, did I link it up for you? I did link it up. At the back of Real War Stories number two, we came across, we came across, <laughs> we came across an advertisement of trading cards, right? That blew me away i was like what and eclipse comics was the first comic book publisher that started producing trading cards right on this scale collectible trading cards right and it blew me away and during that reading where we're doing it i told myself i gotta get my hands on these things i need to get my hands on these trading cards right one of the trading cards was iran contra scandal trading cards we're gonna look at this we're gonna look at this we're gonna look at this uh elder god kennedy assassination it's not here yet <laughs> okay it's not here yet and uh, gang there's a series out there trading cards out there where they had scoundrels trading cards and we saw the name that one is going fairly expensive because it's got a donald trump card in there right iran contra scandal trading cards we're gonna do a live stream of this and look at these okay fantastic and let me tell you how much this one cost me this one cost this one cost uh, da -da 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 this one cost um with shipping 2250 canadian which is a good price which is a really good price okay awesome awesome and it's in really good shape oh george bush dude look at this oh i gotta get comics actually i have some i'm gonna put these on comic sleep look at this great shape too fantastic george bush trading card the skeletons in the closet right skeletons in the closet look at that this is george bush senior by the way the skeletons in the closet cia drug running fantastic i'm not going to bring any more of these out gang because this looks like it's in beautiful condition so i wanna this is the only one i got right <laughs> we will definitely need cigars for that stream haha <laughs> indeed murder right george bush murder so we're very happy to have this very iran contra scandal is one of the most important events to have happened in the united states of america in the 1980s okay it is something that should be taught in every high school in grade 11 and 12 because it will need require two years okay of studying for it to be understood what happened okay extremely important and we are going to do our part and we're going to look at every card in here during a live stream just the way we do the comic book readings awesome 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 very happy to have this okay fantastic the next one <laughs> the next one now let me ask you guys this what is one of the most important things political that i stand against or i stand for what is one of the greatest struggles of humanity right now okay what is it <laughs> how do i crack this open <laughs> Maybe this side. No, it doesn't matter. Censorship? Censorship indeed. This isn't censorship related. What else? What? It is to a certain degree related to censorship. Centralized power? 
it is related to centralized power but what's one of the themes that we do i feel like you say free assange a lot so i'm gonna go with that i do say free assange a lot and it is indirectly related to julian assange as political right if you go to my website if you go to my website let me link it up if you go to my website if you go to my i i needed to get copies of this and i this is the one i really looked intensely for right if you go to my website the main themes on my website i organize them really based on how um important they were right if you look at the right hand column right what do you see and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censored Awesome, awesome. Check this out. Check this out. Yes, yes, yes. Fan fantastic. Fan fantastic. Okay, gang. Let me tell you how much this thing cost. Is this. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out one of the trading cards and this is the trading cards by the way gang right another trading card and this thing is this this has to be a time machine it's a time machine it's important and by the way gang one of the most important things that i've been fighting uh, against for a long time is prohibition right america's war on drugs and trading cards from eclipse comics drug war trading cards right drug war trading cards right so to me on my site where you see 420 on the right hand column under privacy privacy is ridiculously important we need privacy for livery it's prohibition America's war on drugs has been one of the most devastating things that humanity has faced for the last hundred years plus, right? And I couldn't believe that Eclipse Comics had put out a drug war prohibition trading cards, right? Prohibition, <laughs> prohibition against drugs, free drugs, free drugs. Do you know why drugs were made illegal? Indeed, I know the history very well. Uh, it, it racism had a huge part to play in it right uh giving control to the oil industry had a huge part to play in it right uh it you people if anybody's looked into the history of america's war on drugs you'll know exactly why uh, i detest wall street washington hollywood and centralized power so much right and just like the other cards we're going to go through every card here reefer madness now check this out now i looked around i wanted to get my hands on this right there was a lot of people that were you know there was some people that were selling this and they were selling singles for you know eight dollars ten dollars or whatnot i found a seller right that was selling the original original <laughs> original eight packs of this right they came in the eight packs this is in the original packaging right so we're not gonna crack open this one eight packs of this right for eight dollars so he was selling each pack for a dollar right so I messaged the guy and I said listen I don't understand this listing because I didn't understand it at first I saw one of them was eight dollars and then it didn't make sense so he goes no they're eight packs 
Each pack is $8. I said, pack of eights for $8. And I asked them how much shipping would be to Canada, right? And he gave me a whole bunch of prices, how much shipping would be to Canada. And basically what we ended up doing was, let me look at the view, view order details. Boink. We ended up paying $54 for shipping, $54 US for, for shipping, $40 US for the boxes. And he couldn't fit two of the ones into the boxes. So we ended up paying $94 US for this whole thing. And there's 30, 38 of these in here. Guaranteed, we're gonna, when we do the auction where you can redeem your points, right? We're gonna auction off some of these to people that wanna get them. Let's crack one open and take a look. Nice, 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 awesome. And he's got, there's three and there is, nice. He's got three of them in the original packaging. So three times uh, eight is 24 plus another, actually five times eight, that's 40. No, he was able to get all 40 in here. Awesome, he put all 40 in here. Okay, so we ended up paying about 225 a pop. Uh, so awesome. Three of us, racism against black and brown people often not talked about is the racism and land seizure of Mexican Americans. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Racism is systematic, right? He's in the uh, Elder God, he's in the US, he's in California. And these are brand spanking new. <laughs> My God, fantastic, brand new, brand new. I couldn't find anybody else that had brand new stuff on there, right? What's up, sign up for dinner. I'm curious about these cars, interesting. Yeah, uh, three of us, we're gonna do a reading of every single one of these cards. Just the same way we're gonna do it for the drug war, the uh, sorry, the Contra scandal, and just the same way we're gonna do it for the assassination of JFK. Okay. Uh, do you have Vertigo comics like Lucifer? I got ver I got the original, not all of it. Sandman series, Hellblazer series, Doom Patrol, Swamp Thing for sure. Sign up for dinner. The Endless, the Spectre, the Spectre. Yeah, I didn't. I don't have Lucifer. I don't have the. Uh, I have Sandman. These are 1988, I believe. I believe they're 1988. Let me check it out. I don't know if you put the date on here. 1991 my apologies 1991 okay the iran contra i believe was 1988 check this out it has a little description card on there look at this piece of crap human excuse for a human being that's on the top as well here's another card of george w h bush the this piece of crap declaration of war Right, and he uh, George Bush kicked it up a notch when he got into power. Right, very cool, and it's got a write up in the back. Like the write up for this goes, um, drug war, in his first nationally televised address address from the Oval Office in September 1981, President Bush declared a seven dollar and ninety billion a dollar war on drugs brandishing a bag of crack cocaine he called narcotics the gravest threat facing our nation right same piece of crap as nixon right but i don't want to say bigger murderer they're both mass murderers right elder god is correct murderer murderer and just imagine for 12 years in the united states of america in the last 30 years basically right 32 years 12 years of that the united states government was run by the bush regime wrap your head around that look at this beautiful anglo-chinese opium war look at this 
be and beautiful artwork right and the artwork is by I forget the name um, actually JFK is uh, who did the artwork for these this is t -t 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 drug war trading cars uh, Eclipse comics art uh, Paul Brancato Paul Brancato did the artwork for these ones awesome look at this Anglo-Chinese Opium War these presidents you mentioned are pretty much just legalized criminals yeah yeah the tobacco industry look at that look at the tobacco industry we're gonna look at all these so happy to have this so happy to have found this buyer like I ain't I ain't kidding you st. Valentine's Day massacre big ear two. I don't know this big ear two. right yeah anglo chinese war same here i knew the history better when i read up on it like years ago lucky luciano all right Look at these, look at these. Wow, 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 look at this stuff, man. Beautiful, very happy to have this. Look at this, my lovable fascist. What's this about? Wilbury and the Yakuza, ha ha. Look at that. Awesome. Who's this guy? Chairman of the board. Wall Street steps in. Look at this. Meyer Lansky. I don't know Meyer Lansky. Let's see if this will focus. Right? Very cool stuff. I'm going to keep you on while I paint some original art on a couple of skateboards. Awesome! awesome the great heroin coup look at this nixon look at this another mass murderer look at this beautiful man beautiful du xiang uh august 22nd 1888 to 16 august uh, 1951 also known by uh du uh, so this guy let me bring out this guy let's check it out let's check it out look at this this guy so I'm gonna show you the picture while I read what elder God put out uh, big ear two is this the guy oh come on focus anyway uh, also known by do you sing or to he sheng or Du Ye Shang, nicknamed Big Ear Du, was a Chinese mob boss who spent much of his life in Shanghai. Wow, wow, wow. Super cool. Hope that's the right. It looks like it's the right guy. It's, it's, I think so. I can read the back. Let's check it out. While rival warlords vied for power in the chaos following the 1911, 1911 fall of china's manchu dynasty the nationalist party or Kuomintang kmt joined forces with the communist-led labor government after a kmt leader son yat san's death in 1925 yep same guy thanks elder god one our man in laos the heroin trade connected to laos the vietnam war holy kamoli linked up with afghanistan directly as well right in future years anyway colby and company who's this vietnam drug war look at this very cool very cool gang so like really this is one of the best buys i've ever done for my collection 
I am extremely happy to have this. Whoa, the war comes home. The war comes home. Look at that. Look at that. As a result of the allying with Southeast Asian heroin dealers in the fight against communism, the U.S. government created an epidemic of heroin addiction among American troops in Vietnam. Right. This is now CT risky, is it? Okay. The CIA bankers, look at this. CIA bankers, here you go. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube, and Afghanistan comes into play. Right? Afghanistan comes into play. I went to Vietnam on a job. I'm a camera guy. I crawled through one of the tunnels. Amazing what people did out there for survival of war. Yeah, three of us. Amazing. Looks like uh, you did the right thing. Uh, with the sale of the comic books, if you're able to get that experience, wow, wow, wow. Pan Am Flight 103. Look at that. Too much truth, and the neutral CT algorithm would get you. <laughs> Dick Helms, Tim Leary, right on. We got Tim Leary going on. What's the connection? LSD and CIA. We're going to read this. We're going to read these. Very nice. The Pope's Bankers. Very nice. This is exciting. We're going to go through this whole card. Uh, and then we'll do a close-up of everything later. We just can't put it down now. we gotta, we got to look at this whole thing. Right? we got to look at this whole thing. I hope you guys are okay with that. Nice. Klaus, Barbie, and the uh, Fiancés of Death. Wah, 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 wah. Cool. Death Squad con Convention. Wow, wow. Buenos Aires welcomes. Look at that. The Death Squad. Definitely a good sell. I ended up shooting for NBC for two years. Awesome. Awesome, Thebus. That was Lockerbie, yeah. That was Lockerbie. Indeed, it was. Elder God, you know your, you know your stuff. Lockerbie. Yeah. That was Lockerbie. Take a look. Number sixteen, Lockerbie. Death over Lockerbie. Very good, Elder God. Awesome. The school of coops, the school of the Americas, most likely, right? CIA training camps for death squads. School of the Americas, I believe. Yeah. If you don't know about school of the Americas, look into it. They changed their name. Okay. George Ocha narco terrorist oh i know this face look at this madalena cartel madalena cartel my mom's birthday is 21st december and she's scottish <laughs> the poppies and guns want to remind me of a new jack city <laughs> that was a great movie barry seal all these folly berry seal I can't remember this guy oh the fall guy and the snowman this is uh, I believe sort of based on the Falcon the snowman maybe not Falcon the snowman or what's it called uh, How much for a deck of these cars? Where can I 
buy your auction i don't i don't have these up brother <laughs> i bought these but i will I, I i'm gonna auction these off when we do once a year i've decided we're gonna do auctions for people that are um watching the live stream because you can you collect points as you watch the live stream we already did one last year where i auctioned off uh, some of the comics i published and we sent off two books by dm turner the psych uh, uh, uh the psychedelic the first book that he wrote right and we i sent off some honey some jam that i had made by people bidding on what we're what we're showing open auction based on the points that they've accumulated on the channel watching it so i rather do it that way uh, i do have a fair bit so i'm gonna list some comics on ebay most likely uh, so i might list some of these or during the grading of comic books a live stream that we're gonna do to grade the comic books so we can list them on ebay where i said i'm gonna do I'll take offers during the grading during the late live stream process we'll have one of these boxes on the side so people can bid on it and we'll give it to the highest bidder and these things are mint <laughs> <laughs> drug tunnel ah yes take a look at this drug tunnel Mexican connection ah oh, this isn't gonna come out it's really dark let's see if it's gonna focus check that out truck tunnel really dark as it should be i know all these people i think i need a holiday haha <laughs> i have 130k 130,000 points oh my god you get one of these cards what's this one a shocking fate oh look at this enrique uh camerina look at this i believe this is all torture related I still haven't seen my auction win yet but it's a oh you haven't oh you haven't gone to your parents that's right operation snowcap oh is this plan Colombia Andy's fiasco operation snow snowcap spraying farmers in Latin America with toxins to kill so-called coca plants unbelievable unbelievable in any other reality alternate earth all those people involved with these chemical spraying would be what would you do to them operation just because i don't know this one oh the invasion of panama at the back is written what it is the invasion of panama we're going to read all this invasion of panama with noriega right what a travesty bush truman's panty raid oh what's this about noriega yeah look at that phenomenal phenomenal narco dollars wall street connection laundering money narco dollars this is all related with uh, iran contra as well by the way gang right i want a deck of these oh i have 300 channel points <laughs> thebas i tell you what i guarantee you you'll get one of these okay wait what was that panty raid the panty raid truman's panty raid general Ma uh, manuel noriega so noriega related while searching for fugitive general manuel noriega u.s southern command chief general max thurman reported that noriega's noriega's beach house contained 50 kilos of cocaine and evidence that he and his buejos huevos were participating uh, practicing Brazilian witchcraft on enemies like Ronald Reagan and Henry Kissinger Noriega rumored to be wearing red underwear to ward off the evil eye 
eventually took refuge in the Vatican Embassy and later turned himself in to U.S. authorities to face prosecution on a 1988 U.S. drug trafficking indictment. The U.S. Army later admitted that the beach house, beach house cocaine was really tam, tam, tamel, tam, tamel flour, right? The whole thing regarding the invasion of Panama with Noriega was one of the greatest ridiculous forces lies that people in the West believed hook line and sinker and they thought it was okay for the United States the most powerful military in the world to go and kill innocent people in Panama and take their leader whoever whatever you want to uh, however you want to think about it which was Noriega was their own CIA man right Br insanity urban myth what no way my mind is salivating for them <laughs> the weight will be worth it urban myth who uses drugs urban myth we're gonna read all these we might have to do it over two live streams we're on to 31 cards so far who's this fawn hall tells all who's fawn hall crimes and misdemeanors who's this I don't know this this person or she doesn't ring a bell fawn hall what is this <laughs> you have that pipe <laughs> let's show the pipe <laughs> here's the pipe nice Danny takes a toke. Danny takes a toke. Dan quails, smoky trails. Dan quails, smoky trails. Who remembers Dan quail? What a joke. What a horrendous joke. And Dan quail makes the people that occupy the White House right now seem, seem, seem like, seem like, anyway. It's simple. Chat to win. More letter, the better. <laughs> Dan Quayle seems like a genius to them. Right? Operation Green Sweep. Marijuana Wars. And again, related to many, many things. new drugs are what's this this is the last oh no there's one more new drugs are bob martinez i don't remember this guy bob martinez gang so damn cool so damn cool and what is this oh look at this card oh this needs to be oh wow we the people up in smoke bush with an american flag leaf on his private parts burning what are they burning we the people the american constitution look at that look at that wow 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 brilliant 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 yep one of the greatest buys i've ever done on ebay <laughs> awesome and thank you eclipse comics for putting these babies out biden looks hilarious and chroma frame job awesome gang awesome 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 and by the way in terms of uh buy here very happy with this buy <laughs> as you can tell ended up costing each deck ended up costing like two something 210 right awesome 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 and we're last stream for an hour and a half nice nice so gang are we good for a current events live stream sunday morning in the patio okay it's supposed to be nice and sunny i don't know what time yet most likely uh we're gonna do it in the morning either eight 8 30 or 9 o'clock i think the latest 
maybe 9 30 the latest i'll announce it tomorrow okay sunday 8 a.m either 8 8 30 or 9 a.m my time which one elder god which one works better for you guys eight or at eight or closer to nine which one works better for you guys okay you guys let me know and while you think about it and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the chats and thank you for the for being here awesome 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 aside from that while you guys let me know what time will be the best time to do our live stream on sunday if you want to know what this work is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o uh where is my time uh, uh oh, by the way i'm P pdd time pacific time west coast of canada united states i'm like you're you're same time as i am three of us you're the same time as i am okay hello cali i used to come to cali a lot man <laughs> right so when would work best for you guys 8 a.m uh you will have the sun directly on you um yeah nine o'clock too as well 8 a.m might be a little bit too low hitting me in the face in my eyes but it is what it is i'm okay i can wear put on my hat it's all good and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube any of any idea of when the yearly auction will be uh, i'm not sure yet well uh, probably towards the end of summer okay probably towards the end of summer maybe even in the fall give people enough time to rack maybe even uh closer to uh christmas time right do it at the end of the year where we're every year at, towards the end of the year we'll do the auctions and uh will people have time have had time to rack up points and yearly auction thing last one was november maybe we'll do in november officially november chicho auction live streams let me know if that sounds good and let me know about the time gang and for those of you who are watching this on a different platform we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and as always gang thank you for the support on twitch and mods thank you for taking care of business we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on minds vk gap parlor and bitcloud bitcloud is bit clout is in the game now okay yeah now i can rack up sweet awesome charming charming sarcasm nice nice november uh, is my 40th november is your 40th nice happy 40th me yeah let's let's decide we're gonna do the auctions in november okay uh the point auctions for live streams where we don't have any visuals we upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to bit to rumble and odyssey and for those of you that are watching this live stream on sensor tube you know this already and if you don't if you want to consume all of our content if you know what we're up to for all the work that we do you want to be watching this content on bitchute rumble or odyssey because everything is not being loaded on sensor tube and the current events live stream we're going to do on sunday is definitely not going to be loaded on sensor tube okay 20 year anniversary 9 11 is my four, uh, 48th birthday 48 crazy the passage of time is weird indeed so gang we haven't decided yet maybe i'll ask on discord as well 8 a.m or 9 a.m around 8 or 9 a.m uh on sunday we're gonna do a current events live stream aside from that thank you for being here gang thank you for the discussions uh i hope you enjoyed the comic call fantastic fantastic and i hope you have a fantastic thursday and a fantastic next two three days and i'll see you guys on sunday morning if you can make it in our patio okay bye everyone and uh thank you for the conversation okay okay 8 30 a.m okay gang 8 30 a.m sunday morning live stream schedule set on sunday okay bye everyone thanks uh three of us i'm glad you're enjoying the content fun channel fun time 
awesome time, really. Bye, everyone.